Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Obermott Stock Investing. Today I'm going, I'm going to tell you that stock news are no news for you. Even good news are nothing worth if you invest in the stock market. Let's have a look at the small example how the stock market behaves. It typically goes up and down, we all know that. Let's assume these are periods where you can make a decision. Let's, let's you know, assume the stock market goes up three periods, down three periods, again up three periods. So let's look at the full cycle. Assuming you look at the news and buy when the stock market is growing and sell when the stock market is falling, you do the following. Here you don't know, so here you're going to buy and you make the right decision because it's going to go further up. Here you're going to buy and you make again the right position, the decision, but here when you bought because you thought it's going to continue, it's wrong. Well, here you know you're going to sell because the market is on the way down. Here you're going to sell again and you make again the right, the right decision, even though it's going down, you're selling, so you have a plus. And then again, and the, and the cycle closes, you make something wrong. Let's look at the summary. Here you don't know yet. Here you have to observe the market. Let's assume this is the period it takes for you to make a decision. You have 2 plus, 3 plus, 4 plus. So you were four times right by looking at the market. And you were one, two, two times wrong with the market. That's, that's you know, how stock investing is typically perceived. Buy when the markets are going up, sell when the markets are going down. What happens now when the market starts to be faster? Let's look at it. Let's assume it's not over two periods it goes up, three periods it goes up, it only goes up over two periods. Let's assume you are in this situation. Two periods up, two periods down, two periods up, two periods down. So what would you do now? Well, here you would wait and see does it go up or down and you realize it goes up, so you buy and you make the right decision. Here you think it goes further up, you make a wrong decision because it goes down. But here you know you make the right decision. You know, it, you know it's going down, you sell, it's going to go down further, you make the right decision. Here you're wrong again, here you're right, and then we have this one, and here you're wrong again. This is the one below now, because it's two cycles up, two cycles down. We have 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus, and we have 1 minus, 2 minus, 3 minus. Here you're actually at zero profits. You make as many mistakes as you're right. What happens if in the internet age the time goes even faster? Well, then it may actually go up one period, down one period, one up, down, one, one, and one. And in every period, you know, here you don't know yet, but here you know it's going to go up, you're wrong. Here you know it's going to go down, you're wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Six times zero, which means the faster the markets move, the less you can actually uh, use stock market information to make the correct decision. This here was the case of the 60s, the 70s, the 80s. Stock markets took long cycles. When it went up, everybody was right to buy. When it went down, everybody was right to sell. These days, the cycles are so fast, you're only ending up with wrong decisions if you focus on what the market is doing. That's why I'm telling you, don't look at the stock news at all. Just focus on what you want to buy and keep it, no matter what the stock news are, uh, what the stock news are, if they're good or bad. Your portfolio will go up and down naturally. Just don't look at it because over time you will benefit from the overall return in the stock market. Thank you for being with us and see you next time with Overmont Stock Investing. Thank you.